In filmmaking, there is a gaffer, you've probably heard that term, that person is the head of the electrical department when they make a movie. And in film festivals, believe it or not, there is gaffers. Hi everyone, glad to have you join us today as we welcome my guest, Lauren Reed, to Focus. And of course, I'm your host, Steve Dakota, and I might mention that this is our very first program, so thanks for tuning in. Before we start talking about the film festival, I'd like to give you some background information about Lauren, some things that are interesting to me and I think will be interesting to you as well. Uh, as you might expect, he is, or uh, as you might think, he is a filmmaker, but he's also an actor. He doesn't talk a lot about that, but I saw a clip of him on YouTube where he was playing an inmate who was going to be executed, and it was a very moving performance, so if he ever denies being an actor, don't, don't believe him. Okay. He's also very uh, linguistic. He speaks four languages. I only speak one, and I can barely speak that one, but he mm -hmm. speaks English, Spanish, Portuguese, and French, and knowing him, he probably speaks Pig Latin as well, and some other languages that I don't even know about. Remember Miami Vice back in the 80s? It was one of my favorite programs. Notice the likeness between him and Philip Michael Thomas. Sometimes mm -hmm. when I'm out with Lauren uh, at work, uh, people come up to him and ask him about that. Lauren's also a musician, and he plays guitar and sings, and if you were around Sacramento in the early 70s, there was a concert to help save the Alhambra Theater so the Safeway wouldn't tear it down, and Lauren's band, which was a blues rock band, he played lead guitar in that band, probably sang they were there trying to save the Alhambra Theater, so thank you for that, Lauren. And uh, he's also gifted in athletics. He, uh, back in the day, excelled at basketball and baseball. Baseball was very good to him. That's why he's sitting here with me. And in pursuit of his dream and his artistry and uh, his artistic vision of filmmaking, he's traveled the globe, places that I've never been but hopefully will go someday. He's been to Europe, Latin America, and of course North America. And last but cer certainly not least, he's a uh, Emmy-nominated uh, uh, producer, reporter, and also is a multiple award-winning writer, producer, director. And that Emmy nomination, folks, by the way, was when he worked at Channel 40, both in front of the camera and behind the camera, and he did something about the Special Olympics. So, uh, quite a guy, and he's right here. Thanks for coming to my first program, Lauren. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you for having so me. So, before, my pleasure, before we talk about the film festival, Gaffers, let's talk about something that you told me about earlier this year that I find just absolutely fascinating. One of my favorite movies in the last five years is I Am Legend, starring Will Smith. And you told me, in fact, we have a photograph that I think Deb's going to put up here shortly. You actually had breakfast with Will Smith, his wife, at their house in Southern California. How in Lord's name did that come about? How did you do that, and why did you do that? What were you doing there? Well, first of all, I feel honored to be here, so I want to thank you uh, for the opportunity um, to be here and feel humbled uh, to be here, particularly uh, since I'm a good fan of you and uh, everything that you do uh, on the screen, including the the Haiti telethon that you mm -hmm. did a remarkable effort. So to me, it's a pleasure to be here. But uh, we are legend. That's what I called it <laughs> on my Facebook. Good name. And <laughs> um, I was uh, uh, honored and uh, uh, privileged uh, to be in the in the likes uh, of, of those folks. Uh, I was accompanying uh, Robert uh, Guillon, uh, two-time Emmy Award uh, winner, wow. uh, also a four-time NAACP winner, mm -hmm. um, uh, Grammy winner. Uh, so you talk about the multiple talent stuff like that. Um, we were there um, along with uh, Shirley Calloway from Color at Success, a phenomenal news show that really highlights uh, the achievements of uh, folks there. So we were there um, uh, having breakfast. I think I had uh, a little bit of turkey sausage, some eggs, had a chance to meet uh, um, his children, which I've uh, never officially met, but I've covered during a lot of different events in, in Los Angeles. But sat there uh, for a meeting. Um, talked about creative energies, talked about uh, um, different things to put forth to people, and uh, Will Smith, just a very uh, humble, professional, multi-talented uh, um, artist, uh, along with uh, his beautiful wife, Jada Pinkett. Uh, their kids were getting ready to go to school, so we, we chatted with them just before they went to uh, just before they went to school, and we talked about their trip to, uh, to Beijing, and also um, the fact that uh, they were getting ready to fly out to Oslo, Sweden, um, where Barack Obama, our president, was going to receive the Nobel Peace Prize. So we had a lot to talk about that expanded uh, a variety of different things. We talked about Gavras, Colored Success, and some of the wonderful programs that him and his uh, children and family are in, but they expanded to some very rising heights. Part of our uh, Global Art Film Festival experience of Repertory of Sacramento, that's what the acronym GAFFER stands for, is a repertory component. And we work with folks of, of, uh, of all ilk and of all uh, different multi uh, multidisciplinary arts. Um, we're blessed to have someone uh, that we're showing the works like uh, 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 Cynthia Gatlin, 
who, who did this uh, remarkable piece on uh, playing a, a, a death row inmate. Right, and you brought a clip on that, right? Yes, but a little bit about Cynthia uh, Gatlin. I mean, you're talking about uh, over 30 years of theatrical, multi-award uh, winning uh, theatrical performer, grew up and p performed in the Michael Benjamin era, and he was uh, in 1966, he'd been at Sac City doing, since 1966, doing uh, uh, theater and stuff. Um, so having people of that ilk to, to express and, and come to a new genre and, and, and a new means, a new discipline, if you will, filmmaking, Cynthia did just an extraordinary uh, a job. From what they tell me on the yard and some of the staff here, it's pretty good. What do you think of my pencil work? I love her. I love her. They said I killed a man, but I didn't. We was all drinking, having a good time at our old water and hole. There was a white man there drinking with us. I blacked out. Next thing I knew, everybody was gone. There was a dead man there and the police. What do you think of my art? Particularly under these conditions, I am supremely impressed. Now all these people, they want to they wanna buy it because they know what's going to happen to me. You think I'm guilty? <laughs> Come on. You think me and Cleo are guilty? Tell me what you think. Come on, tell me. You think I did it? <laughs> I think I did it. <laughs> Do you believe in the death penalty? Do you know the difference between revenge and justice? <laughs> looking at revenge, but there's no justice here. You take Cleo. You're talking about others like Jen Gottson, one of our repertory group of Southern California. She portrayed Nixon's daughter in Frost Nixon. But you'll see her here in, in a movie that we did called All Heart and Soul, portraying some just great action there. Uh, we've had people like uh, Dion Taylor, who provided our sound for our first movie, Backbone. His mom, Val Taylor, uh, played in Tyler Perry's movies. This repertory that we get a chance to uh, bring people in is, is really to teach, inspire, and really uh, elevate audiences, and really inspire not just the arts, but the humanness uh, of us all, so whether it's visual, whether it's uh, literary, media, or performing artists. So we want to give you a little taste of that because there's so much talent here in Sacramento. Uh, that's all the time we have for now. Our guest has been Lauren Reed, director and founder of the Global Art Film Festival. I'm Steve Dakota. Until next time, thanks for joining us. It's a beautiful baby boy. Mama. If anything happened, promise me you take good care of my baby. Mama, promise me, Mama. Promise me you'll give him a good education like you gave me, Mama. Promise me, Mama.